Well, over the holidays, figuring out what to buy the special people in your life can be a challenge. And many shoppers, like me and probably like you, resort to gift cards, but are they really the best choice? Well, we'll find out because personal finance specialist Skip Cowan joins us to explore the subject of the glittery gift card versus the cold, hard cash. <laughs> Hi, Skip. Good morning, hey, good morning, ladies. How are you? Doing great. Good. Good, good well, to see both of you. It's good to see you as always. And I, I think that a lot of people out there think that giving a gift card is good because then the recipient can just buy and choose whatever they want. And so I think that's a good idea, especially when it comes to clothes, if you don't know someone's size and all those kind of little details. But you said that's not the case. Well, it kind of depends on what kind of gift card you're talking about, okay. right? Okay. Okay. Right. For example, I have a collection of gift cards yeah. to a specific restaurant that won't be mentioned. Okay. That I will <laughs> never eat at again. <laughs> oh, no. And yet, people tell, tell us, tell they us. keep giving me the gift cards to this place. Uh -oh. They must have a good deal. Yeah. With what the I manager. really should do is just donate it to somebody who really likes to eat at this joint. Take I, it to you know. right. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, gift cards are not necessarily a bad idea one way or the other. Right. But if it's specifically to a, a, a specific store, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then I'm handicapped, am I not? Yeah, right. And it, That's it, true. it becomes yeah. difficult. Right. Well, you know, in gift cards, do they come with fees sometimes? There's always an expiration date, and that's something we have to be careful about. Mm. Tell us, tell us more. Well, the, the fees are kind of hidden, right? Okay. I mean, Where so do they come in? I plop down my hundred bucks, uh -huh. and it's 105 because they charge me tax or whatever, right? <laughs> oh, and that's so, true. but you're, but if I give you the gift card, you're not getting the 105. You're getting the hundred. That's true. Right? So that Starbucks gift card is four fifty, but you only get four hundred dollars worth of coffee. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, what a gift. Th there you <laughs> go. <laughs> and, and, and that brings up something else. If I've got this gift card yeah. and I, I can't, I get to the point where it's got a couple of bucks left on it, uh -huh. and I'm trying trying to buy something for four bucks, yes. it, it doesn't work. It always happens like it, that. It won't zero the out, leftover. right? It won't zero out. So I end up losing it. Well, who wins on that deal? The banks win, don't they? Yes. The people who gave you those, the, 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 who issued the darn gift card <laughs> in, the, in, in, in the first place. It's true. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, you're talking about one of the advantages of to cash is the recipient doesn't have to pick or actually have to spend it on something when it comes to the Christmas time. So sometimes it seems kind of impersonal to give cash, but can you just talk more about the benefits of that? Well, think about this for a okay. second, ladies. When you were younger, mm -hmm. which would you have preferred? Real money or a cash, some kind of a gift card? Real money still. Absolutely. Real money. <laughs> what cash. is so impersonal about real money? Nothing, right? Nothing. right? And when you think about it, it gives you extra options. I could save it. What a concept. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? You, as the spender, you don't really think of it like you're giving money away when you give a card. You almost, it's almost like the, the gambling concept. It's, it becomes something other than cash, and it doesn't feel so guilty. You know, you Why so do guilty. you think they came up with these things? <laughs> right. It is exactly the same concept as a I'm chip a on the table. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. The chips aren't real money, so it's really easy to throw the dice and watch the chip go away, right? right. But a hundred dollar bill, that's a different story entirely. Sure it's the same deal with a gift card. Mm -hmm. So what I would say is give the cash okay. and let the recipient choose what they want to do with it. Yes. And they okay. have then all kinds of options. If they want to go to this lousy restaurant where I have all these gift cards, <laughs> okay. go ahead. Well, I don't know about you, but every time I have a gift card, I forget I end up forgetting to spend it, and then I look at it and I say, Oh, I gotta use it, and then I've Past and the then, yeah, that's expired. it. That's that, that, that happened to me recently. All the time. I went to a bookstore and I thought I had a $50 gift card. I only had a $35 gift card. Because sometimes they just keep going down, down, down. Eventually they get to zero. And they get to zero. Yeah. So uh. why? I, I don't know. You know, it's tough sometimes to figure it out. It and maybe you feel like if I give you 100 bucks, it's it just doesn't feel right. But you know what? In the end, in the end, it helps. You choose what you want to do. So Maybe true. you save fifty bucks. Now I'm happy if you do that. You're absolutely there right. There you go. Good advice as always. Well, and so happy much. holidays. Happy too. holidays to you guys. I won't give you a gift card to that restaurant. Thank week. you. Please, <laughs> please.